All right, hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And uh, this is just gonna be a really quick video. And I'm gonna be giving you guys my unadulterated, pure opinion on Destiny 2 and what I've played. So today, if you guys don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know, uh, I got invited to the Destiny 2 event. I went there, I got to play uh, one, well, I got to play a Crucible mode. I forget the name of it, it's really fun. Um, on one map, I played that like a whole bunch though. One Strike, I also forget the name of that, and the very first mission of Destiny 2 called Homecoming. And uh, honestly guys, it's just, it's freaking amazing. It's everything that they could have done better with Destiny, they did better with this game. The graphics are more like Halo 4, uh, very kind of dark, um, gritty, more realistic. Um, just beautiful. The cutscenes, gorgeous. Oh my god. Like, just gorgeous. Like, like to the point of people's hair, like, moving. Like, Final Fantasy gorgeous, right? And just absolutely perfect. Then, uh, so we'll go one by one here. So let's start off Homecoming. The, the very first mission, how was it? It was pretty fun. Uh, obviously you guys have seen the whole thing from the demo. Um, Pretty good though, it's it's pretty solid. Uh, very good gameplay. The Cabal feel like uh, grunts, they feel more alive, like the grunts from the Halo series, they kind of move in the same kind of fashion when you shoot them and stuff. Um, very good, I hope this is at a good angle by the way, but, so uh, very good mission, very, very good mission. Um, really fun, There, I think there are two or three cinematics in that mission alone, three if you include the ending actually with Gaul. Very, very cool. The new subclasses, holy crap, Dawnblade, is the coolest thing in the world. It's just so good. Uh, flying around like a phoenix, hitting people with crap, just so good, right? Um, then you have, what else is um, the other subclasses? I didn't play the, the campaign with them, but when we did the strike, it's a brand new strike on a brand new planet that I also forget the name of. Wow, I'm really, I'm hitting these out of the park. It's a brand new planet. Um, it's one of the Cabal planets. And it was Cabal versus Vex, and we had to fight our way there. And the whole objective was to fight your way to a giant drill that the Cabal controlled. And when you get there, you find these prints of a uh, like a giant Vex Minotaur. And you realize that the reason the, the Cabal are drilling is to kill this thing. So um, you go there, you kill it, it's got three phases, it's really fun, really, really cool. Um, the strike is really dynamic. There's a lot of flying around, like getting catapulted across the map. Uh, huge. It's so much longer. It took us like 25 minutes to beat. Very long strike. Um, I know some people like Mesa Sean never even finish it, which is crazy. Uh, so very, very good strike. The boss was still bullet spongy, very reminiscent of Destiny 1, but it was more creative. For instance, there's this, this part where you were, you were on the, the Cabal drill and there were different sections. So it had like three, like, um, if you guys have ever seen like an excavator, like in Black Ops, like a giant saw. So there's three of them and they would rotate at different times and you had to climb this. Well, battery just died. I'm gonna keep this rolling though. So uh, the saw, things, you know, rotating and you have to dodge them. Uh, very, very unique, really creative. I loved it. Very good strike. We got to fight some of the Cabal dog things. Um, I think I was the, uh, the Dawn Boy in that one as well. Just so good. So many good weapons. The whole new weapon system, I'm going to explain that in a different video for you guys. It's so good. Um, I honestly enjoy more than having special and heavy how they've done it. I really do enjoy it, especially for Crucible, which I guess is the next thing we talk about. So the Crucible mode, uh, Countdown, I think it's called, it's like Search and Destroy in Call of Duty. You know, there's two objectives. You can go choose to plant the bomb at either of them and the other team has to stop you or defuse it. It's the exact same. If you plant and the other team defuses, they win. If uh, you all die, they win. If they all die, you win. If you plant the bomb and they kill all of you, they still have to defuse the bomb before they win. It's, it's the exact same game mode. Only difference is you can get revives. So uh, say, yeah, I, that's pretty self-explanatory. If my teammate dies, I can get him up. Um, so a couple of notes here. Crucible, when you're getting a res, uh, if you get shot, that revive stops. They're a lot faster, but you can't get shot. It only takes like three seconds to revive someone though. Um, a couple more things, uh, let's see, your supers are so powerful. I mentioned this in a video I'm working on right there. Boom, it's, it's rendering. Oh, it actually looks like it's done. Uh, <laughs> um, 
You get six golden gunshots. You can wipe an entire team with every super. The Fist of Havoc is now a roaming super. You can get something like three slams in before it runs out. It's crazy. Um, you feel really powerful. Your your grenades and melees and all that don't recharge anywhere near as fast as they used to, though. So that's kind of a you know a downfall. Um, but the Crucible, man, I played like ten games. It's awesome. It is just fantastic. Uh, the the heavy, like literally, I I'm not even making this up, right? The heavy spawns 30 seconds. It's not heavy, it's power ammo, and it's for uh, shotguns, fusion rifles, that kind of stuff, or rocket launchers, any of it. Um, it spawns on the wall, like there's wall spots, and it spawns 30 seconds into each round, and then every subsequent minute. And, I mean, it seems really crazy. It works extremely well, though. I'm going to explain that whole situation here in a bit. Um, and yeah, the Crucible, most fun I've had in Crucible in forever. Now, was I murdering people? Yeah, I went on like a 14 kill streak. That did happen. Uh, so could I be a little bit biased because I did really well? Probably. But uh, other than that, it was just a fantastic experience. All of it. Um, it's, it's like Destiny. The UI is the same as Destiny. Um, some of the upgrade nodes and stuff are different. The subclasses are completely re reworked. Obviously how the weapons work are. Um, it feels a lot like Destiny, and it feels like a better Destiny. And I'm so excited for you guys to play during the beta, and you should be excited too. So if you have not pre-ordered the game, go get your beta code right now. Um, there's no reason not to do it. You can put $5 down at GameStop and grab a beta code. Do it, because you're going to love this game, I promise you. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, 60 frames per second on computer. I believe the Asterix... I believe it can hit 60 frames per second on the PS4 Pro and a Scorpio, but I think that's wrong now that I think about it. So I'll have to do some research into that. I'll probably do a video on that as well. Um, but God, guys, like you, you don't even understand. It's a just a majestic game. It's amazing, and you're going to love to play it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and share it with your friends. If you're interested in seeing that video on screen, you can click the invitation to be taken to it. And finally, subscribe for more awesome Destiny content. And I'll see you guys in my next video.